Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Genius of Sapphire's Weekend. I went ahead and did some off-screen grinding, which got uh, Sakia and Patchola a little bit more caught up. They're level 6 now, and uh, the rest of my characters are level 9. Except for, you know, of course, the characters I'm not even using yet. I'll deal with them later. Uh, growth... oops, sorry. Um, well, what I did was, I went to the first section of the forest... Excuse me, the, the uh, Forest of Magic. I didn't loot any chests, I just fought the enemies. And I didn't trigger any events, so that kind of limited where I can grind, but I went ahead and fought those guys, and then I w would go back to the, um, the, uh, Scarlet Devil Mansion and clear out that area, and then, you know, do some finag- uh, some goofing off to try to get it to, uh, reset and all that fun stuff, and repeat the process. I only did it a few times, but it did give me some, uh, power and experience. In this game, I don't really care about the experience level, to be honest. I just like grinding for power so I can get more growth points. Um, right now, until you reach a certain point, uh, it's only 100 power to get another point, and then after that, it, you would have to, it, it'll start increasing uh, more and more. So I try to get as much at, at, uh, as high as possible, especially if um, since bosses give you a thousand power no matter what. So. Anyway, I'll go ahead and show off some uh, stuff. I've been putting all my points into Phoenix, like always, with Moko. Um, she now has plus 40 attack, uh, plus 10 induction, or whatever it's called, um, and a f higher fast, uh, physical attack speed. She can actually uh, attack reasonably quick now, Not though the, um, the formation debuff kind of slows her down, though. Uh, Sakia, I've been just increasing her murder, um, which right now doesn't do much besides the accuracy and evasion. Death resistance is alright for some uh, enemies, but it's not really that important. I'm really just trying to get to the final ability, which makes it so her normal attacks will have a chance of causing instant death, because I always find it funny to do use that. Um, Reimu, I've diverted from spirit attacks to exorcism, since I don't really need to level up very much more of spirit attack. Um, exorcism has increased her attack, magic attack, crit, and speed. Um, Marissa is still going for astronomy. Um, it's, uh, I've, it's, uh, so far it's been reducing MP costs, increasing damage, increasing cast speed, and reducing cooldowns. So, and for Pacholi, um, I've been working on spirit magic. It's been increasing the, uh, it's kind of a mixture of a lot of stuff. It, uh, increases spell card damage, or increases non-spell card, card damage, uh, increases elemental damage, and... Let's see. Also increases uh, magic elemental strength. Blah blah blah. Also, the kind of neat thing it does is it Patchouli can become rather resistant to actual magical attacks uh, from various elements based off the land power. So, like if the land power is set to fire, she would become, in this case, immune to fire damage or as far fire spells that is. So that's kind of neat. I'm right now trying to max it out so I can get the uh, ability to cast two spells at once. Or have a chance to double cast, which is kind of nice. Uh, Sene, I've just been increasing our status, status increasing skills, and that's about it. The rest of the characters I haven't been working on. So, um, also I did find one drop while I was in the Scarlet Devil Mansion. A Might Staff, which is a stronger version of the Magician's Rod by quite a bit. It gives a little bit extra magic attack, but it gives like 9 extra physical attack, which is always good. Okay, so I'm, let's go into the forest. Some of the enemies might not have respawned, but that's not a really a big deal. We'll fight plenty soon enough. With the formation command, you can insert new allies into your party. The reason this is here right now is because this technically we shouldn't have had any new characters until this point. Alright, these are Vampire Thorns. These guys can drain life. And what's very annoying about some of these characters that specialize in draining life is they generally don't- it's not one for one. In the case of Vampire Thorns, it's more like three to one. In other words, every one point of damage they do, they get three HP back. But they're not too bit- too much of an issue, just beat them up. Also, you can take a look at the weapons I'm equipped with. They're kind of funny looking. Uh, the, me the Melon Sword looks green. The, uh, the white lance is like a weird looking lance with like uh, initials etched to the side. And it's really hard to make out the daggers though. And uh, Marissa's staff is like a little CD on a stick. It's pretty amusing. Anyway, this is the Forest of Magic. As you can see, I've already revealed the map for this particular section. Not that big of a deal. There's a chest up here. Bamboo. I was hoping to get some drops, but I haven't been getting having much luck in finding anything. Besides, of course, the Might Staff. 
I was hoping to get some, like, you know, materials so I can, like, show, show off some crafting, but it wasn't happening. Fire Shard, that's a crafting item as well. Alright, these are fairies. These guys can uh, have some really nasty magic attacks. So, just kill them. If you remember, Sakia's daggers drain life and MP. And Sakia and Pachole leveled up. Good for them. Level 7, level 7, and Silent Selene. Oh yeah, I do have some new spells. Let's go... You should be still fine. Yeah, you're the same. Um, Sakia learned... Col uh, Colossio World. Um, Saki has the ability to make field effects. Um, field effects can be o um, only one field effect can be active at a time, and it's permanent until it's either overlapped or removed. What hers, what's, what this one does is it prevents all healing effects. That includes both sides, so the, the enemies can't heal and you can't heal. Can be very useful in certain fights. All right, uh, anything new from here? No. Um, for Marissa, I learned Mad Blizzard, which is a a, a spell card for um, water element, wide range, and medium. Marissa has to rely on using bombs to do her AoEs in most cases, so that's something you got to keep in mind. Uh, Pacholi, let's see, Silent Selene. Um, Multi-target, dark element, very high damage. Let's see... Anything else I learned? Oh yeah, um, Sene learns Wind of Swords, which is a physical attack up, uh, multi-target buff. And I think that's everything. Okay, I got the chest. Did I get the chest here? Yes, I did. Okay, let's keep going. Go ahead and fight that. We got ourselves some more fairies, but they are equipped with, uh, one's equipped with a, s a spear and the other is equipped with a sword. Yeah, you can see the pulse swing is actually an AoE. I hit two uh, two opponents at once. And it looks like triggers some last uh, last words, so let's go ahead and mess around with those. Sakia's world massively increases all of Sakia's stats. This is actually a really powerful buff. It's a self buff only though. And then ha uh, Hakare healing ba barrier restores all HP. It's multi-target. So there you go. So there you go, Sakia up. And there you go, everyone's full HP. Okay. And now there's just a little doll in the way. And it just spears. Okay, let's go see These are Death Flutters. I don't remember much about them. I, th I think they're very annoying. Yep. They always attack first and do swoop. And they have high evasion. Um, swoop can be very annoying because it can negate your action. Like, it can hurt you and then it'll say, like, daze or something. And all daze does is, um, prevent your next action. Alright, well, let's just keep attacking. I will eventually... Yep, yeah, there's Daze. Daze is a, one of the quick effects. It only uh, activates for one round. It prevents your action. Lost my ball. Alright. Alright, so let's go and kill... Well, let's go and loot that chest first. Snake skin. That's the special material for a Sine uh, item. Not that big of a deal. Okay, these are ochre jellies. Um, I'm pretty sure they're resistant to physical or something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do Cold Inferno. And that's it. Okay, weak against ice. Eh. Okay, it's not too bad. It'll probably be bad if, they, if I let them attack, of course. Alright, another one of these dolls. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. Go ahead and grab it. I'm pretty sure this is a thing where I have to find all the dolls or something. Very similar to, uh... Live with the Toho. Okay, they're vulnerable to, uh, pier lances, apparently. And okay. 
this guy, Matengo. This thing it has like massive breath attacks that do a lot of damage. I think it does poison paralysis or something ridiculous. Or sleep. You don't want to let him get too many attacks in. So. Do what we do best, I guess. And just in case, Summer Flame. Not enough damage. Okay, that was enough. And that's Summer Flame. Guess I didn't really need to use that AoE after all. Alright, that's all taken care of. And more of these guys. Yeah, we'll just auto attack. Digest. Yeah. Nasty little attack there. Also heals them. It's a drain attack. Okay. Okay. Guess that's taken care of. Alright, we came from the right, so let's go up first. Not much to say, I'm just clearing out these guys. Okay, that was a column attack. Or, sorry, yeah, a column attack. So anyone in a, in a line, in a column, will uh, take the hit. Okay, we can go through this way. Yeah, if you, can t if you look at the trees, there's sometimes little passageways you can take. Like that one I just took. It has its uses. Like this right, this area here. Okay. Land turtles. These guys hit hard, and they have really high defense. So we'll go ahead and target these guys. I think they're vulnerable to cold. Oh, and that thing. What they can also do is that that ability they just used was uh, called Deva Stand or something like that. It forces all attacks to go directly to the person that cast it. So even if I cast an AOE, all my AOE attack would go straight to him, which can be good and bad. Um, like if I did like patch all his AOE or something, um, it would hit that turtle three times instead of once because it's taking all the hits for the uh, other two two monsters. Uh, but it's very annoying if you're just trying to, you know, kill things. And Pacholi died, no surprise there. Pretty much if anything attacks Pacholi, uh, she dies. Silver Tray, that's an item for Sakya. And a Cold Hat. Okay, Cold Hat, um... Sleep will almost always be prevented. Yeah, if it's a star uh, symbol, that means it's a, like the highest um, protection. And so for now, I'll just give it to Suck. Yeah, not really that big, not really a big deal at the moment. Anyway, we can go over here, and this is Marissa's house. Can't do anything with it though, which is kind of unfortunate. Would have been nice to go into our place. Yep, can't go around. Nope. So there you go. There's Mercer's place. Can't do anything with it. Okay. Let's head over this way now. Okay, you can take down these pieces of grass. It's just kind of a... There's not really any point of having the grass there. It's just... There. Paralyzed. Opus taking hits like like a champ. I can't imagine going through this, these areas without Moko. Because you, if you don't have Moko, you have no tank. Magic Shard, that's for... Pacholi, I think. Alright, these guys again. Also, 
Kadamas. Anyway. Just go ahead and attack that. Sweet breath. Yeah. What makes them dangerous is, um, they can actually counterattack. Like, if you attack them, there's a chance that it will just trigger that sweet breath move. And it's a column attack, so it's possible, it, with this formation, they, it's possible to hit two of my five party members at the same time. Um, thankfully, Saki is practically immune to sleep now, and Reimu just took it. Anyway, I just got another last word. Big Bang. Hits all enemies. It's a really good attack. If you can get that in a boss fight, you're golden. Though I've rarely ever had that happen. Alright, these are infant demons. They're pretty durable. Um, they are vulnerable to holy, and they have some pretty nasty uh, dark attacks. So there's only one of them, I don't really need to worry. The first time I encountered them, there was three of them, and they nearly killed my entire party. Okay, more of you guys. Um, Kadamas, I think, can self-destruct, if I remember correctly. Otherwise, they're not really a threat. Okay. Electric Shard. Nothing else here. Think oh, can go down here. Okay, more fairies. And there goes Patchouli again. It's really hard to keep her alive. Um, even if you use a tank that can actually draw attacks, which is a Moko, it's really hard to keep her up. Alright, um, Moko leveled up, and we got a magic metal, which is a crafting item. Got a piece of iron, and I believe we can head down here, get a tortoise armor, and over here, and get a longsword. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tortoise armor. Gives um, resistance to stabbing, I think. Is that right? Yeah, Revis uh, resistance to stabbing attacks, so piercing, and it's higher defense than Moko's armor and lower speed. Okay, I can live with that. Go ahead and equip it. And also a long sword, which is not as strong as what I've already got. A sword made to be somewhat longer. Wait a minute. Oops, wrong thing. A somewhat small sword. Okay. I was wondering if they're going to be clever. Alright. Finish this area. Alright, I'm going to go to the right first because I think that's the wrong way. I like to find all the treasure first. Plus all the encounters. Leveled up, leveled up, Rayma leveled up, Marissa leveled up, and Sene leveled up. Wind of Shields, it's a uh, group uh, defense buff. Pretty sure you guys figured that out on your own. Alright. Poisoned. Now this is why poison is deadly. It triggers even at the end of the round, no matter what. Even if it's the last round of the battle. So it's possible to die from just poison. And it does it's always pretty hefty. That was 20 damage, and I've seen a lot worse. Anyway, Sakia Patchole leveled up. Uh, Sakia learned Killer World. And Patchole didn't learn anything. Also, we found a skill ring. This is actually pretty useful to us. Let's take a look at the uh, ability first. Killer World, death effects occur more often. Eh, not really that useful, to be honest. Because you don't really use field effects in, co in uh, normal combats, and bosses are practically always immune to death effects. But, we did get a uh, skill ring. Increases potence... Uh, yeah, increase, yeah increase, uh, increases potence by 4. Generally what potence is for is it increases your resistance, so that's probably what we need anyway. 
Not really anyone to give it to, so I'll just go ahead and give it to Sakia. It's not a big deal. It's nice to find it, though. There are multiple ranks of those skill ranks, of course, so if you find the higher ranks, they'll have more bonuses, etc., etc. Pretty mirror. And auto attack. Getting some frame rate again. Paralyzed. Okay, that's a little annoying. But yeah, having these weapons does help you out a lot in the beginning here. But they'll quickly become obsolete, so I'm not that worried about it. Alright. Everyone got some power points. Let's go ahead and spend those. We're gonna get uh, plus five to crit. Nothing for her. Plus 20 accuracy. Uh, t -t -t plus 35 element strength. Th or plus 35 percent element strength and plus 20 percent casting speed. And nothing for you. And for you, status increasing effects increased uh, increased by 50 percent. Okay. We can go down here. Yeah, if the screen flashes red, that means you critted. Also, if you do put points into like skills like sword or their you know their specific weapon, um, keep in mind that if you don't have that weapon equipped, those points are not going to be helping you at all. You don't even get the stat bonuses. Word. Fang Crush. That will pretty much kill any other party member if it's not a tank. Go ahead and just attack. But Mocha is a freaking beast, so she can hold it. She can hold her own. Okay, doing good. Treasure box. Ghost tap uh, ghost cat tail. Paralysis, paralysis will almost always be prevented. Okay. Let's give that the Reimu, actually. Okay, if we we can cut through this way here and loop around and get the Staff of Purgatory. And I think that's everything we can get here. Yep, okay. So what we can also do, which I'll show off in a second, let's take a look at that staff first. Staff Purgatory um, hides the power of unquenchable flame, fire enhanced by 20%, and it's better in pretty much all in all ways. More magic attack, more physical attack. So go ahead and do that. Do you need the might staff? Mm, not yet. Also, we can go down here, find a magic mushroom, that's a Marissa item, and a donation box, that's a Raymo item. I'm probably going to go ahead and hold on to those items for now and just skip a few tiers, because we don't really need any gear right now. And we'll fight you guys. here, and we'll cut through over here. This leads to a chest again, Gaia shield. This is an elemental shield, so anyone can use it. Excels against earth elemental attacks. Um, so what it does is it allows you to completely negate earth, at earth attacks, but makes you vulnerable to all the other elements. I think that's how it works. But I'm not going to use it. I rarely use any of those shields because I don't really... I always find shields kind of confusing to use. That's a battle axe. I'm probably not going to bother looking at it. Okay, fine. I'll look at it. Battle axe. 33 physical attack. And that's about it. A typical battle axe. Um, the tiger axe is stronger, so no reason to ever use it if you have the codes. Actually, let's just make sure I got all the chest. There was one there. 
They sometimes will hide them. I don't think they have started doing that just yet. Okay, continue heading this way. Ah, another doll. Okie dokie. What are these? Mr. Gensokyo. I'm pretty sure those are moths, but okay. Oh, I remember. I think I remember these enemies. I think they poison, and they're very nasty poisons. But they're dead. Okay, head down here. Rust shard. All right, and now we're dealing with poos, which are little microchip things with legs, I guess. I think they have the ability to paralyze. Doesn't really matter because we have to kill the thing first. There we go. Got ourselves another accessory, that's good. Time to overkill it. There we go. Clouded Mountain Amulet. Okay. I don't know what that is. Alright, increases to, to, to earth earth element sorry, earth damage reduced to twenty five percent, also raises earth damage but lowers resistance to el electric. Okay, so it's like a earth at it's an earth element item that makes you vulnerable to electricity. A bit of give and take. Oh, and there's another doll here. Is there anything else I need to look for? I think we're good. Actually, I think I'm going the right way. Just attack. Okay. Bug. Yep. What bug does is it's a group paralyze. Not a big yet. At least Raymu can uh, enjoy it, so she can just finish them off. Be very nasty if you don't have an item like that, though. Okay, found some steel. It's a crafting item. I want to just call it crafting because I can't really pronounce synthesis that well. Try to fully explore this uh, this map at the very oh great Yuki Ona. This is a ice spirit. You don't want to mess with her. Well, actually, you do want to kill her at least, but um, she has really nasty cold attacks. So let's go ahead and just use Hellfire and hope it's enough. Good. Hey, we got an accessory out of it. Yeah, if you know elemental weaknesses, it, uh, these bites can be a little bit easier but you have to know them. If you don't, it can get very difficult later on. Alright, equipment. Shower amulet. This is exactly like the earth element uh, amulet, but with water and weakness to fire. Okay, you guys next. Alright, we can head this way, or we can go over this way and get this chest. Ring of Light. Ring of Light, light damage reduced to 50%. Let's go ahead and give that to... Patchouli, since she's vulnerable to darkness. Or, sorry, not darkness, vulnerable to light. That didn't work. If I was not playing the weekend version, um, with, you know, easy mode and all that, um, I would be actually be constantly leaving this place just so I could save all these items they keep finding. Rock, that's a crafting item. Oh great, this is not a good combination at all. Let's show off some of these moves, let's see.
All these are single target, unfortunately. Oh, well, let's try it out. Yeah, I figured that. So I hit four times, but didn't really do that much damage. Up oh, Frost. Yeah, that's why you don't want, want her to be alive. That attack kind of shredded us. But we survived. Alright, got the item here. I don't think there's anything else. At least not over there. There's a chest over here. Magician's robe. Uh, light clothes anyone can equip. Higher higher defense. The only thing it lowers is speed, higher resistance, and re gives you some resistance to silence. So we'll equip that, because Patchouli needs some armor, definitely. Okay, so we're kind of done with this area, looks like. I guess we did go the wrong way. Good. So a little bit of backtracking, guys. Oops, wrong way. Go here, up here, around here. And let's go this way. Yep, okay. Here's a new area. My cat's meowing beside me. Alright. Okay. Blade of grass for no reason. Grilled Night Sparrow. Uh, blind will almost always be prevented. Good item for a physical attacker. It's definitely worth fighting these guys just for drops. Um, something to note, since I believe um, the way this game works, you can't have multiples of the same item. So once you find an item, you can't really get it again. Oh joy. Alright. Well, why not? Let's try it. Hell fire. Killed one. Last word charged. Sweet breath countered. Sweet breath, breath countered, and everyone's asleep. <laughs> See, that's how nasty you can be. If because monsters can, can do counterattacks. Okay, level 9. And we learned Active Elemental. Alright. Active Elemental. Raises fire, water, earth, earth, or electric land power. This is a way to manipulate the land power of the battle. Very useful for later on. Now, if my cat would get out of my way, thank you. Okay, I already opened that chest. And this one, Crow Feather, this is an IA-specific uh, item. Okay, more of these guys. Easy enough. But how enjoy this difficulty while it lasts. It, it will get harder. I'm pretty much assured of that. Even with the easy mode. Judge's Rod. Silence will almost always be prevented. Okay. Let's give that to... Yeah, let's give it to Marissa. Why not? Oh joy, one of these guys. I 
I do recall these moths being being annoying, but I guess they're not doing any of their special stuff. So, I'll just enjoy it while it lasts. Alright, so we're now on the other side of the river. Kinda odd to tell him the fact we can fly. Alright. Apostles. This is... Probably vulnerable to Dark Element, but whatever. Let's just do quick battle for now. Energy Bolt. I think that's actually a holy attack. Okay. Head on down here. Open this chest. Twilight Tag. Confusion will almost always be prevented. We kind of actually need that. Go ahead and take the Twilight Tag. You can take the skull ring. Pretty straightforward there. Just here, CD ROM. This is more, well, I think uh, this is another one of those blocks everything type things. Excels at blocking magical attacks. Yeah. Blocks everything. I'll just give it to her. She can't use it though. And there's this path here. Leads to this little extra area. Or we encounter her again. There it is, poison mist. Does poison damage. 30 poison damage a turn. So I just took 30 damage, like 32 damage there. Now we finish, we'll easily win this battle. But, the poison triggers again, and, oh wow, she actually lived. She had like one hit point left. Alright, we got another power point. Let's go ahead and use it. Plus 30 uh, induction, or whatever it's called. Useless right now until I get the turn for war's ability. And for you, cooldowns for cooldown minus one, and all f elemental damage increased by 20%. else? Nope. Okay. Inferno shield. It's pretty much just like this, the Gaia shield that I picked up, but for fire. And the turtle shield. Uh, effective against physical attacks, especially good against stabbing. And, okay. Yeah, definitely better than what I have, so I'll give it, go ahead and equip the turtle shield. Which is actually completely useless, because I think that like, the White Lance is two-handed, but whatever. Cow, that's a lot of them. All right, just focus on physical. Let's do um, extermination. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we'll do earth and spear, I guess. There you go. Whoa. Yeah, they know light spells, including that AoE light spell. That could have gone a lot worse, but thankfully it didn't. 
Afuda of Dispelling, Passion Blaze, Wind Arrows. Okay. Go ahead and replace that with Passion Blaze. It's just um, an air area effect fire attack that uses bombs. Um, let's see what else. Okay, it's just like the um, dispelling ability that uh, Sine has, but it's a uh, Fuda instead. And we did pick up what else? Nope, not there. There's some other ability, didn't we? Oh, that's right. We picked up Wind of Arrows, which increases accuracy. Alright, I think that's everything here. Hello. Alright. Go ahead and do Hawkery Amulet to him. Poison missed again. Poisoned. Alright, that poison's gonna kill us all. I suppose I can try removing it. Meh. Just finished the battle. Poison missed again. Now watch. Two people died. And Sakiya barely, barely lived. That's what makes poison very annoying, because it actually eats up lives like crazy. But we're good on lives at the moment, so let's keep going. I think we're almost done. I just want to at least get to the checkpoint. Okay, get rid of that. Also, we can go up here. Fight more of these guys. Alright, we got two paths to pick from. Let's try this one first. Wow, there's just a lot of stuff around here, isn't there? Alright. Frost. Oh, and the free status effect. Uh, what that did was temporarily stunned you for a round. It's really annoying. It's something that could trigger with some cold attacks. Just like fire attacks can sometimes cause burn. Alright, this video is going a bit too long. <laughs> Okay, well here's the checkpoint. You can create new items at Corinda. All you need are the are a recipe and the right ingredients. Okay, well let's hit this thing. It'll take out the barrier and give us a spawn a uh, teleport back. So let's oh chest here poison lily. I'm pretty sure that gives me resistance to poison or something. Yep. It also it also enhances poison attacks if you have them. So I'm going to clip that. All right. I am the depressed Eeyore, and this was Genius of Sephiroth. I'll probably do some grinding off screen, but I'll make sure to not um, open any chests that I happen to find. And uh, oh, uh, Hakataku's lunchbox. Sorry, I keep finding these right items around here. Uh, prevents petrification. Oops, wrong one. There you go. Anyway, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Genius of Sapphros. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.